Last week on Montclair West House East. I know I'm not supposed to say this as your history teacher, but I can't stand Italian people. My dad just got a promotion. I'm moving to East Montclair. <laughs> I'm not joking, Gwen. I leave Saturday. I'm starting to worry that Bobby is developing an eating disorder. First they end the Cosby show, now this. My sister was marrying an Italian once. I said, no, 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 you can't do this, no. No, Vito is not going to be a part of my family. How many times do I have to tell you, when you're in this house, this is the entrance, this is the exit. End of story. High school can be kind of tough. High school can be kind of cool. High school, you first fall in. We thank you for this delicious breakfast on this glorious Saturday. And we ask you, Lord, to please send Bobby and Gwenifer some strength. I know they are both facing obstacles in their lives. Bobby. With his, oh, let me eat up all this expensive food and then puke it out. <laughs> Gwenifer with her. Oh, my heart is breaking over a guy I've been dating for three days. We also pray that you send me strength, Lord. As you know, I'll be competing in this afternoon's 20th annual West Montclair Lasagna Bake Off East with a chance to three-peat, just as Matthew 12.30 prophesied. Amen. I got a back in town that ain't making me feel bad. Making me feel bad. Can I help you? Yeah. Guy, what's up with these doors being locked? It's Saturday. School's closed. Hey, Pally. I'm a teacher, okay? Yeah, I don't care if it's a, a Monday. Last time I checked, education doesn't just take a day off. And I'm not about to let some greaseball Italian salami slinger tell me when and where I can teach. Fuck you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please take out your textbooks and turn to page 71 and begin reading silently. While I take the time to unpack my briefcase, before I visually confirm that you are all in my class. <coughs> Look at yourself. Crapping Denver omelets out of your mouth like it's your job. Is that your job, guy? Answer me! Does some employer pay you to crap omelets out of your mouth? You don't understand. <laughs> Try me. The girls at Westmont don't like fatsos. The girls at Westmont? What's the point of someone liking you if you don't even like yourself? Who's the only person you truly need? Me. Buh? Yeah, me. And Newsflash? I love fatsos. You do? Yes! So can I see? <laughs> what? You know. Ooh, hello, Mr. Tubby Tits. Look at that gut. This is it. This is me. It's magnificent. I love it. You do? 
every last fat inch. everyone. Listen, bud. School's closed on Saturday. I don't speak a word of Italian, guy. First of all, I'm speaking the Lord's English right now. Secondly... Yeah, that's exactly what someone speaking Italian would say. I know what you're doing, paisan. You're speaking this gobbledygook language so that I don't get to the bottom of this. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to get to the bottom. You know why? I was born at the bottom. Where bottom feeders like you bottom feed. Off the bottom. I will see you in hell. Hey. Hey. All packed? Yeah. Listen, Gwen, for... I don't usually let myself get attached to any one particular person being in a military family and all. I didn't know your dad was in the military. Kiss Army. Getting to know you, Guinevere, has changed my life. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I love you. I love you too. It's the little things I can't tell you A phrase I heard, a funny word Or something that I found absurd You laugh In the dining room But I'm without you one plate of tears, dim chandelier It's over now, it's over now, that's clear Sorry I ate your lasagna. It's okay. It was really good. Best lasagna in all West Montclair East. Thanks. <sighs> Bobby. I know since I got back, I haven't been the greatest dad. And I know it's probably my fault that things between us have been a little rocky. Screenplay idea. Little Rocky. He's only four feet tall, but he knows how to pack a punch. 
But I just wanted to tell you that if you need to talk, I'm here for you. I know what you're going through. Seriously doubt that. I mean, unless you've... Had an abusive relationship with a mirror version of yourself? Yeah, I can relate. You mean you've... Why do you think I abandoned our family for ten years? Miss watching my kids grow up. Sometimes when you see yourself, it's hard to see much of anything else. It became abusive, though. Got ugly. Things were said that couldn't be unsaid. Plus, one day I just kind of realized that a mirror is not the right inanimate object to have sex with. Now, a plush couch or a big fur coat, yeah, those are sexy. Totally worth your time. <sighs> I wish my father would have told me that. So, well, what should I do? That's between you and yourself. I can say this. You've got to stand up for yourself. To yourself. Just be yourself. Brace yourself. I don't know what we're doing, Harv. What do you mean? I mean, what's our plan? What are we going to do? Just run away forever? We killed a hobo last night. It was us or him, remember? Plus, look at all these beans we got. I have a family and friends back in Westmon, and as much as I love you, I can't just leave my old life behind. I guess I just tricked myself into believing we could start a life together. We'd get a little one bedroom. You'd get a job teaching tap dance to little ones. I'd finally polish my stand-up. Did you hear about the circus fire? It was intense. But you're right. We can't keep killing hobos. What do you say? One last dance? You know, the more I think about West Montclair High East, the more I realize most of what we learn isn't found in some textbook. It's found in our experiences, in our failures, moments of weakness when we hurt others, when others hurt us, and in our triumphs, when we overcome, when we forgive. Need we reminding of life's simple beauties the brief love we've been afforded to share, the profoundness of caring and giving, and in spite of all the madness, even if for only some transcendent moment, choosing to do good. We know not the scope of these choices, their meaning nor their matter. Yet still we remain forever compelled to make them, forever against our will, pushed only in the right direction. Believe in yourselves and try your hardest because when the going gets tough, the grass is always greener. And Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And that's why, if it was my choice, I'd kill Goldblum, bang Lincoln, and marry Gandhi.